right, well, welcome back to Life in Balance. Yeah, we're, this is Thanksgiving week, and we're, we're at the Vibrant Life Health Center. So we're in the Nutrimost room, if you will. Yes. And we're here because, again, it's Thanksgiving, and one of the things that people normally do at Thanksgiving is they go crazy. They go crazy. They actually will uh, light it up, so to speak. Right. Yeah, I mean, you go to the table, and your whole family's here, and the, the, the table spread is like this monster feast. Oh, and yes. For some reason, everybody has a idea that they got to eat everything. Oh, you have to. They got to try to. everything. Got to try everything and then go back for seconds and right. thirds third, and third. Yeah, go sleep some more and then come back and forth right. and fifths. And then yes. the following day you go out for leftovers and, and again, one of the biggest problems that people have is they gain a whole bunch of weight during the holidays and it usually starts, for some people it starts with Halloween. Yes. You know the Halloween candy. Yep. And then you hit Thanksgiving. Yep. You put another three or four or five pounds on. Then you hit Christmas, and then you got 12 pounds yeah. on, 15 pounds then on. Then you hit New Year's right after right. that. And then, then, and then you're going to say, okay, now i got to lose all this stuff. Right. That's a, that's a big road to hoe because that's not an easy thing to do. It's easy to put it on. Oh, yeah. Our bodies were designed to store food. Yes. Okay, for that famine that's going to be the hunter-gatherer right. that we are, we were always right. designed to have storage for the times when we were not gathered. Right. And, and so Thanksgiving was the feast when, when the pilgrims were starving and the Indians brought them a bunch of food or however they ended up really doing it. And they had this feast, but they still look pretty skinny to me, at least in the movies that I saw. <laughs> but in, in the America, we have the world, the, the, the country of plenty. The country of plenty. Yeah. We have plenty of options. And, you know, that's why the Thanksgiving foods are the way they are today. I mean, can you imagine... Um, just the amount of calories that somebody is taking in at that point in time. It's like, uh, you know, it's just, it's like a nuclear bomb of calories yeah. coming into your body. Yeah, and the first course is probably a thousand calories. Yeah. And then you go for seconds. Yes. And then you get dessert. So oh, by the yeah. time you're finished without one meal, you might have eaten 2,000 oh, calories. Absolutely. And then you have a lot uh, of people, you know, that live in the cooler areas where it's getting cold here right. for us as well. And so they walk in and they've already got a 1,200 calorie Frappuccino from Starbucks right. that they've started yeah. with. <laughs> so it's one of those things, I mean, again, today's show is about trying to help people get through the holidays, at least get through Thanksgiving, without really going through Thanksgiving apocalypse. Exactly, you know. exactly. We don't, want to, we, don't want to, we don't want to start off and, and be so unthankful for what we did on Thanksgiving. Yeah, so it's, it's important to be thankful, but... You can have a healthy Thanksgiving and still enjoy yourself. Oh, absolutely. And and yes. not enter the holidays and the new year being 15 or 20 pounds. Exactly. Away. Exactly. For sure. Well, before we get into that, I'd like to make sure that we talk in the beginning of the show because we have some specials that will be ending probably by the end yeah, of the, the year. Yeah, by the year. We do. We have a great special on our Titron scan, which is an opportunity for us to use a technology to identify how your body is functioning in a lot of different aspects. We can relate this to and um, correspond it to a lot of different things that people may be having ambulance with. Yeah. And we can really start to divide a, a, a line of how you can be treated for that and really make a big difference in something you might not even thought was an opportunity. And it's, what's really cool is a totally non-invasive uh, scan, so it, it's, it doesn't even tickle. I mean, it's, it's a great yeah. thing to get done, but it tells the doctor so many different kinds of things about you. So if you're getting sick all the time, you know why you're getting sick? This could help you if you have weird pains. You don't know what it comes. Absolutely. You know, this this is something that could be a very useful thing. And again, you normally would have to pay for this, and it's absolutely free. So it's yes. A, it's like a we're at, we're at Thanksgiving, but it could be the Thanksgiving gift or a Black Friday gift for yourself because yeah, it's free. Exactly. You know, or, exactly. Or the Christmas gift for yourself. Right. We also have a Nutrimo special. We have a Nutrimo special, uh, and we're talking about that Nutrimo special. We do a body composition analysis that looks at fifteen different components of your body, how it's functioning, how your metabolism is working, and how that relates to fat burn in the body and the fat control and metabolism in the body. Right. And when we go through that, that's usually a hundred dollar value. Right. We're doing that for twenty seven dollars. It's, it's a, you can't miss that opportunity. So again, if you're looking to sail through the holidays and come up with a program that's going to make your life better and more healthy, they've got a couple of them going on right now that they yeah. really want to take care of. So we're talking about you know eating and how to eat right, all that kind of stuff. And one of the things that we don't do very well in America, I think, is portion control. Portion control is an amazing strategy, mm -hmm. number one. I mean, there's even programs out there that develop box sizes. And right. you, you know, you control your portion sizes with all these boxes and no box meals and things like that. But when you look at the portion controls that we have here, you know, it's amazing when you go to 
even order a coffee and they're like, well, do you want a grande or a venti or a super huge, you know? <laughs> when we were growing up, how big was the 7-Eleven drink? Right. Big Gulf was what, 30 ounces? Well, that was the big thing back then. And now it's like, 84 ounces. I was going to say, when I was growing up, I think it was like 16 ounces. Yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy where we've come with this stuff. And, and We invented supersize. Yes. America, supersizing. America invented supersizing, and it started in the 50s, and, and now it's like, it's not supersized. It's oh, exactly. Giganto size. Yeah. You know, so. you know and, and we talk about that. So portion control. You know, when we talk about, you know, a lot of people go out to eat in the holidays, you know, they're going to have a great Thanksgiving meal, and then they're going to spend the next three or four days Christmas shopping and doing all kinds of things, and, and they're going to be out right. eating. And a lot of times when, when my wife and I go out to eat, we'll actually only have appetizers or we'll give a main course meal and split it. Right. Because the portion is enough for both of us to eat very well. We're not hungry, and we get to have great food. And so it's a very enjoyable time, but we're not taking six bags of food home. And here's the thing. I mean, if you're doing this at your home, one of the things that I always see, especially at Thanksgiving, is these humongous plates. So yes. You bring out the huge plates so you can pile it on. Well, one of the simplest things you can do is use smaller plates. Yes. And, and if you don't want to buy smaller plates, you can go and buy... You know, uh, or whatever yeah. they call called, plates, they're, and you have. Yeah. They're Thanksgiving themed. And, and then you don't have to wash them and all that kind of stuff. You put them in the trash and boom, you're done. <laughs> but you can use smaller portions by just doing that. Yes. And if again, if you have to do it two or three times, maybe you'll eat a little bit less because you, exactly. you, you filled it fewer times. Mm -hmm. Just the space in between filling the plates. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, most people realize when you eat, your body it takes a little while to figure out, hey, I'm full. You know, there's, a, there's an interesting fact I always share with my patients is when you eat a piece of bread, to digest that piece of bread that you've eaten takes the same amount of energy as it would to cut a whole cord of wood with an axe. That's a big relation and correlation. People don't realize how much energy. So when they realize, why am I sleeping after I eat a Thanksgiving? Well, it's because your body has no energy to do anything else but to digest at this point in time. Yeah, again, portion control is a simple thing you can do. Uh, drinking water. You're at the table. You get the bottle, the, get the glass of water, drink the glass of water. Yes. Because if you drink that glass of water, it'll actually fill you up. Something. Also, a lot of times your hunger is driven by being thirsty. Yes, exactly. Because a lot, most people, I mean, me included, you can't always tell the difference between being thirsty and hungry. Right. You know, so if you're thirsty, you might think you're hungry and you're going to eat an extra piece of, you know, turkey. Exactly. Whatever. You know, and that, that's another really great strategy, just to strategize. And then the other thing is to strategize what you're going to have. I mean, you don't have to have everything on the table. Although, that's the normal way we do it. Yes, that is the normal way we do it. But you can really strategize and say, you know, I'm going to have this and this and this. I think I'll enjoy these two things and that's what I need. Or you pick the healthiest things first, mm -hmm. eat them first. And then move towards the other because maybe by what will happen is you'll want them full. Yeah, I don't, I don't need, need that other stuff. I want just a little piece of it. I don't want the whole half cake. Yeah. And the other thing I would talk about is alcohol. So mm -hmm. yeah. there's nothing wrong with having a glass of wine or two. Yeah. But don't have six. Yeah. Or a six pack. Right. You know, or or that plus a couple of, you know, cocktails. Exactly. Exactly. Because those are empty calories. You know, that's like just saying, well, give me a couple of big scoops of sugar or something. It's yeah. Like almost yeah. the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, and then, you know, going into the soft drinks and things like that, you know, I always, always tell you, strategize here, uh, make sure that you're using alternatives, there's some great alternatives to the soft drinks out there that are much healthier options, um, and you don't have to sacrifice, I mean, even there's a company that makes these Zevia uh, sodas, and they taste just as good as the real thing. As a matter of fact, you can get, the, well, you do your own carbonation or all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you, you can do those things too. You make your own sodas. Talk about a tradition you can start there is making your own sodas for Thanksgiving meals. And that way you're making healthier sodas. I mean, if you want them a little sweet, you can put real stevia in it. Yeah. And you still get the sweet taste, but you're not getting the calories. Oh, yeah. I mean, and you still got the bubbly, which will help with digestion and all that other kind of stuff. Yeah. So there's lots of good strategies in there. One of the things I normally do now for myself is I go for the green food first. Mm -hmm. So before I start you know, punching down the turkey and chicken or ham or whatever they got on the table, right. I, I eat the, the green beans. The green beans. Well, the, the salad first. Green bean casserole. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll eat, and my wife makes a really good squash casserole. I'll eat some of that. They're, they're nice. Uh, and then I'm going to go in, and it usually keeps them from getting to the potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> and all the heavy starches, because again, that's another thing. If you eat the things that are just as slowly, yeah. and let the starches be last, mm -hmm. the likelihood of you eating a bunch of the starches, because again, everybody likes potatoes, but if you eat them last, you'll probably eat oh, less yeah. of the potatoes. 
Yeah. And, you know, and there's the other thing is that I know that a lot of people have traditions, but there are a lot of ways that you can make a Thanksgiving feast that is completely healthy and is completely delicious. I have uh, on our website, when you go to vibrantlifehealthcenter.com or vlhcjacks.com, uh, on the right-hand side, there's a thing that calls NM Recipes. And if you come up in there, you have a plethora of opportunity to find out how to make great recipes. And, you know, there's turkeys, there's chickens, there's all kinds of different things. There's desserts, there's drinks. There's even a mock margarita in there. Yeah, and later on in the show, we'll be talking about different recipes and things like that. And, of course, if you go to the blog, the blog will have the article that has the recipes in yep. it. And it actually has links to other things also as well. Exactly. Um, you know, talk a little bit about trigger foods. Trigger foods. Because that's one of the things, you know, you eat that certain thing and you like, I can't stop. Exactly. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's triggering a response in you to say, ah, oh, this tastes so good, I've got to eat all of it. All right. And uh, that's, a, that's a chemical trigger. And it's a response in your body. And we've got to be aware of those things. But, you know, the other thing about trigger foods that a lot of people don't know is when you talk about how the body is actually affected by the food. You know, everybody kind of is aware that when you eat a lot of turkey, you kind of go to sleep. You know, your digestive tract definitely goes to sleep because of tryptophan, which is in the turkey. You know, so, so that's a, a chemical thing that happens from the, what's, in the, what's in the turkey. But there's other things that do that to people too. One of the things that we do on our, our fat loss program is we talk a lot about uh, dis disruptive foods and trigger foods that shut down the fat metabolism. And for me, for example, it's salmon. When I eat salmon, my body system shuts down and I start gaining weight from that process. Not a, not a good thing for me to do. And, 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 and for a lot of people, that's a great food, but for you, it's not. Exactly. I remember when I talked to Tracy one time, she said, I thought it was with broccoli or something. Broccoli was, is hers. Yes, definitely. So, so everybody, you know, that. broccoli's not the best for everybody. Exactly. Mary, who works here in the office as well, peanut butter is hers. Okay. So, I mean, you start talking about those things and realizing you got to understand what your triggers are and, and go through a process of learning that. That's why, to me, one of the most cool parts of the Nutramost fat loss program mm -hmm. is not that you lose all this pound a day stuff, which is really cool. Right. So, I mean, keep yeah. you keep it. <laughs> but the really cool thing is after you end the program, now you're monitoring to see what makes you gain weight. Right. What are the trigger foods that actually turn off fat burning yes. and turn on fat storage? And I can tell you, I've discovered about 10 things that I would have never dreamt exactly. to do that. And you probably ate them very repeatedly. And, and not only that, I would eat them in big quantities. I mean, I always yes. knew pizza did it. I mean, yeah. you know, pizza is like pizza. the double you know? whammy yeah. food of the world. <laughs> I found that I can eat two pieces of pizza. Right. And if I stop at two, pretty much I'll stay. I'll probably stop fat burning, but I don't gain a bunch of weight. Right. So I could still enjoy pizza, yeah. but I just can't go crazy. I can't eat a half a pizza. Well, that's the key. Like my son, he'll eat all day. Right. You know, there's a the key, though. It's, and the neat thing about it is, we've talked about this before, is you eat those two pieces of pizza, you digest them, and you don't have the, sac you know, the, the sacrifice of having your system turned off and you're gaining all this weight from it. But the other neat thing is that after you've done that event and you, you've been able to enjoy the pizza that you would, you'd like to have, an hour after you're done with that, you're not groggy, you're not feeling unenergetic, fatigued. Yeah. You're, you're actually ready to go for the next day. Yeah, and yeah. that's a big part of life, too. Yeah. Again, if you're feeling good because you're eating right, it really turns on a whole new perspective for life. Yes. I really, really got to tell you that it's a life-changing moment. If you're 40 pounds overweight, you lose that 40 pounds, you feel totally different. You do. You also got to have the fun of going to buy new clothes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, and that's really, you know, we're talking about Thanksgiving, and that's what I'm the most thankful for for this program for people, is because that's the nugget that you get to take with you for long-term success, and it allows you to enjoy life in all its varieties and flavors yeah. much more effectively. We've got a few minutes, or well, a few seconds left, I think, and what we want to do is make sure that we talk about a tip of the week. We're going to be coming back from the commercial break. Yes. So the tip of the week is, this week is... Um, it's going to be, it's not about restrictions, it's about new habits. New habits, new, new things that will make your life better. Yes. We'll be right back. A lot of people ask me, what is this Nutramost? What is this program? You know, the amazing thing about Nutramost is, is it's a program that looks at your entire system and determines why is it that your metabolism isn't controlling fat metabolism the way that it should. There's an entire system in your body that does this, and it gets derailed. It gets off course, and when we're off course, our body starts adding the fat. We want to get away from that. We want to solve the real problem, and on this program, you actually repair that metabolism system as you go through the program. So at the end of this, program, it's not that you had, a, had a, a magical pill, a red or blue pill, that made you lose the weight. It's a system, and that system is running all the way through the process going forward. 
We're back, and we're talking about the health tip this week. Yeah. And I think before we start that, we'll just hit one more time. If there's anything that you want to look deeper into what we're talking about on our shows, uh, in our blogs, go to our website. It's vlhcjacks.com. It's the short version, or vibrantlifehealthcenter.com. A great place to really have central, command central, of uh, getting all this information. You can get to our blog. You can get to more information about our services. Yeah, Facebook, Twitter, yes. all the different Sign up for our newsletter. Sign up for an appointment to come in and take advantage of our great offers and specials that we're having. Yeah, the freebies are... Christmas presents. Yes, the Christmas, Christmas presents. presents. <laughs> so we definitely want to make sure you have the access to that. But we want to talk about... Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not that you got to give up something. It's you want to bring something new into your life. Exactly. Really you know, it, it's not about restrictions. So many people think of diet and, oh, I never can have fun again with food. Right. That's really a misnomer. We can really... It's not true. And I still eat pie. Yes. Pizza. Pie. Mm-hmm. Pumpkin pie is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and so... I don't eat a whole pumpkin pie, though. <laughs> yes. But, you know, the thing is, is that you're learning new habits. You're mm-hmm. learning, uh, you know, how to enjoy... You're basically, that's what, you know, you've gone through the program, and now you've learned how to enjoy the things, I think, more effectively than you ever did before. Well, no, I, I mean, when, when problems that you were having go away because you've done the program and you've lost all the weight and so mm-hmm. on... It's really a highly motivated thing for you to stay there because you want to stay feeling good. It's no good to grow up and, and go and retire and all that kind of stuff, and then now you can't enjoy life because you're not healthy. Right, exactly. So exactly. having the gift of health is the best thing you can have. And again, it's not about restrictions where I can't eat pizza or I can't do this or I can't have the front. You can have the big frappe if you want to. You sure. just understand that you know that you're now going to have to only oh, exactly. give up on this extra thing because you just knocked down a thousand dollar front a thousand well, dollar front yeah. you know, and that's another great thing is we talk about letting go of the restriction and doing a new habit well there's some ways that you can make a frappuccino really healthy right. really delicious and not have it be so negatively on like 1200 calories right. you know and you can use coffee and coconut oil and some really good flavorings and stevia flavorings and you've got a great frappuccino right. that's really healthy for you right. so we're we're also talking about, you know, some of the different things that, that are out there. We were talking about trigger foods just before the break. Yes. So some of the things that are important is that you can replace some of the trigger foods with other things. Yes. It's not that big a deal to it's do not. that. It's not. You know, yeah. it's not at all. You know, for instance, with me, for salmon, salmon is my trigger food. Well, I'm not eating salmon anymore, but I have, there's a plethora of fish yeah. out there that are delicious. Snapper, flounder, grouper. Yellowtail. You know, those are able, yeah, exactly, yellowtail. Uh, great options to have wonderful, tasty meals that are delicious, but yet are can you, can you, you, uh, you know what? I've never had it since I've been off the program. So, so it's one of those things. Again, you can substitute. For example, say you're really sort of a sugar freak. Mm-hmm. Okay, you really like things to be sweet, tasty. Just start trying to substitute stevia. Yeah, stevia is exactly. pretty strong. I mean, if you normally can't put too much of it because mm-hmm. it'll over. I mean, for me, it over. It's too much sweetness. But a, a little bit goes a long way. Goes a long way, and you can do a lot of great things. But with make it. sure it's real stevia, because most of the stevias that are out there are like partially stevia. Or yeah, stevia we covered that on a show actually yeah, well, well, last month. Right. I thought, yeah, yeah, we talked about maltodextrin and erythritol, right. and all these other things are thrown yeah, in. There's a lot of fillers in them. You get a teeny bit of stevia and a whole bunch of filler. Yeah, and it's less money. But you're not really getting the product that you thought you were paying for. That's a pretty common thing. So exactly. we're talking about some Thanksgiving recipes, and on the blog you have. Thanksgiving baked chicken or turkey, 170 calories per serving. How's that? That's pretty low calories. It is. And yet a tasty meal has great seasonings in it. And it's 3.5 ounces. So that's a that's about a chunk, probably bigger than your hand. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's a pretty nice size chunk of turkey. And I guarantee you, if you eat a nice size protein portion, you usually stops being hungry. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah, so earlier I talked about, you know, I'll eat all the green stuff first. A lot of times, some people's strategy is to eat the protein first. Yes, yes. Because the protein will satiate some of the hunger. Yeah, putting the hunger in, in, in a low jump, so right. to speak, so you don't have that. So that's another good strategy sometimes mm-hmm. to do. And if you have a turkey like what we have in this recipe, this turkey will fill you. It's going to be very tasty. Right. And again, you're not overburdening yourself. Right. With and that. I would tell you, if any time you can, use organic ingredients if you can. Oh, you absolutely. You can get organic turkey, you can get organic oh, chicken, you can get organic absolutely. even ham and stuff like yeah. that. Um, same way with the spices. A lot of times, we talked about trigger first earlier. The spice world is like 
the magic word. When you buy a spice half time, you don't know what the heck is oh, in it. Oh, yes. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. So it can oh, be yeah. MSG, which is a trigger food for a lot of people. Absolutely. I can usually tell right away. As soon as I eat something with MSG, I get like a lot of phlegm in my Yeah. Throat. Well, you know, that's a DNA disruptor. It's a D and that's at the core of your body. Yeah. Yes. So they're, 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 you want to get really good spices. I know my partner Larry likes to go to Penzi's. Penzi's. I'm not giving them a, a plug, but I, again, Make sure that the spices are as pure as possible. Pure as fresh possible. as possible. If they're pure and fresh, they and make everything taste a lot I was going to say that the taste is the value of the, the spice is huge right. when you get a pure version because it's spicier, it's tastier, it's more vibrant. And so the food is actually going to be much mm -hmm. more effective for the plate. And it's more enjoyable and you'll probably mm -hmm. eat less of it. Yes, so absolutely. That's one of the things you can do. Um, the recipe on here is, you know, preheat the oven for 375 degrees, mix the spices together in a small bowl. Dip meat into broth and coat the chicken. I mean the chicken or the turkey. So yeah. you're actually making portions. Yes. So that you would be taking a portion, which so is you're in instituting the strategy we talked about earlier in the show, portion control. All right. And yes. you cook it for 20 minutes, and voila, you got the portion you're ready to go. Portion, you can go. make a whole bunch of these. So if you got 20 people, yeah, come you, you can make plates and you're ready to roll. You can make 20 Absolutely. or 40 of them, and boom, you're off to the races. Um, I know this one, I, my partner, when he saw it, he liked it. The, the dairy-free deviled egg. <laughs> and and he, doesn't, he doesn't like to eat dairy right well, now. No, he it doesn't. doesn't. It doesn't do yeah. well. He came up with this killer, he calls it ice cream, but it's like... And we're going we're gonna to feature that on a future show. We're going to do some stuff with this man to get his secrets on the, on the show here. So but I tell you, he makes this ice cream that he, instead of using dairy, he uses banana. I know. And it just tastes really, really good. Yeah. I mean... Um, I've seen him make some other things with the banana stuff too, so it's pretty, yeah. pretty cool. And again, it's all natural stuff. Uh, Look forward to that show coming soon. And I know with my blender that I have home, I can make sherbet within a couple of oh, minutes. Yeah. And I just put real fruit in there, boom. Yeah. And then we eat it. Again, that's a Binford 2000 commercial size <laughs> blender. So. But you can get, there are a lot of blenders out there that will do this. I yes. Just, I have a blend tech. If you want to know yeah. I get the blend tech. Blend tech. It can make an iPhone shake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we have the dairy-free deviled eggs here, 150 calories a serving. So most people really like deviled eggs. Uh, my wife really loves deviled eggs. Oh yeah. So she usually go back for a couple of servings. But here's 150 calories, and again, you got the, the hard-boiled eggs and all the things that you do. So the instructions are on the blog. Absolutely. Yeah. Any of these recipes that you're mentioning yeah. are on the blog. Definitely go to the blog and grab them. Tells you specifically how you can cook them, how you can get it ready. I just noticed that the, the, the lemon garlic is sort of a nice touch. Yeah, it's a nice touch. Yeah. You know, and I forget what the red stuff is, paprika, whatever they usually put over the pot of paprika. Yeah. But you could, this thing has several different kinds of things in it, and when you, when you mix them up, it tastes really, really good. And again, you're getting a healthy hard-boiled eggs, because mm -hmm. you can make them in a way that's not very healthy for you. Um, the next one that's on here is lemon garlic crock pot chicken. 182 oh, yeah. calories a serving. So here's a great one, because again, a lot of people say, gee, I got a slave in the kitchen for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> no, you do something like this. You and you put it on the crock pot. You know, you right. turn it on, and you go about doing your stuff. Right. You want to watch soaps all day? Boop. Yeah. yeah. You know, the other neat thing about this, and I was just thinking about it, is you know, a lot of people they don't go to this big family. But maybe there's some situations going on where they weren't able to join their family this year in their home, and they're they just need to make something little. This is a great place yeah. to find something little to have your own little Thanksgiving, so you're not. You can really enjoy some great food, be thankful for the year, and uh, really enjoy what you're doing for that. Right. For the so you know, it's. Four chicken breasts, two minced onions, lemon, garlic, uh, thyme, and some other things in there, uh, some stock. And when we say chicken broth stock, make sure you read the label of the chicken broth stock yes. that you buy. Because a lot of times you might buy chicken broth stock and it's really not chicken broth stock. No. It's something else. Yeah, it's naturally flavored. <laughs> when, you go, <laughs> when you go to the Nutribullet program, you get really used to reading labels. Because a lot mm -hmm. of people don't read labels. They just buy it and just eat it. And they don't yep. really realize that they're just putting chemicals in their body and then I need mm -hmm. food. Totally. So this is one of the ones that I discovered that I was, I was buying chicken stock because I'd make my own soups. And I'm like, this ain't chicken stock. There's no nope. chicken in it and there's no stock. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's something else. There's stock, but it's yeah, in the stock. company. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> there's stock, there's, there's company stock. Um, the last one we got on here is, um, oh, did I skip it? No. Uh, mustard baked chicken. So 165 calories. And again, yeah. this is per serving. So if you wanted to have two servings, you can actually no, have no. three servings. Because again, the average person could eat about 1,500 to 2,000 calories a day yep, exactly. without gaining weight. So, mm -hmm. you know, 
you can eat a bunch, of, especially if you save up. Uh, I tell people sometimes if it's Thanksgiving, you save up for the meal. That Are you banking calories? Is that what you're doing? Banking calories. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really always get away with it. But when you're doing that, the uh, body well, shuts yeah, off. That's you know? right. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so if you try and cheat too hard on that, that won't slide. But <laughs> but you could probably, instead of only 500, you might be able to suck down 600. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 absolutely. So the mustard baked chicken. Tell me a little bit about it. I mean, I, it's got there's a you know, seven it's, ounces. So it's, it's a nice big chunk of chicken. Big chunk of chicken. You know, you got your brown mustard, and this is where you really get flavor. I mean, you, there's some great mustards out there. There's some fantastic that are good for you. Again, you gotta watch the ingredients. You gotta watch the labels. You want to make sure it has real turmeric in it. Yep, exactly. <laughs> you know, make sure you're getting that. But you really have, and, it, and it's a marvelous, flavorful recipe here. Yeah, I would take this recipe where it says brown mustard. I put the brown mustard on it, but then I'd probably shake turmeric right over it. Oh, the yeah, absolutely. I could put turmeric on everything. Well, turmeric and ginger would be and I, would, and I would probably add ginger to it yeah, as well. Yeah, I know you would. So. I mean, if you go, I mean, I'd add it to my coffee. I mean, oh, yeah. People are like, what are you doing? I'm putting that stuff in my coffee because it makes me feel good. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, but lots of really good stuff in there. So, again, if, if you're getting ready to go to the Thanksgiving feast, you don't want to walk away. Right. With, you know, the extra 12 pounds. I mean, I can tell you that if I eat it properly, I can gain five pounds in a day probably. Easily. Easily. Especially I mean, if you're in your structure food. Right. It shuts down your system. I mean, your body just, if you eat the wrong things, and it just shuts everything down. And even if you exercise, this is the weird thing. I mean, I, I'm an exercise guy. I walk at least five miles a day. You can still gain plenty fat walking five miles oh, a day. Yeah. I can assure you. <laughs> well, before you came into the program... Yeah. Was I was walking five to eight miles a day, and I was putting on weight. Yep. So mm -hmm. it's it's the kind of thing that you know people tell you exercise, exercise. You can't exercise out of yourself of fat. When you have a system and, issue, you definitely can't exercise. Especially if you're not eating right. Yep. Okay. So those kinds of mm -hmm. things. Again, the Nutribullet program looks yes. at the whole person, not just little and pieces. Exercise of it. is great, but yeah. it, it's it's for a different purpose, yeah. and that's what we have to understand. And again, if, if, if you find yourself at the beginning of the year that you went crazy in Thanksgiving, you went crazy in Christmas, you might want to come in and, and take advantage, like just before New Year, when the when the special ends. Yes. Take take advantage take of that. Take advantage of our $27 body <laughs> composition analysis for fat loss that's going to be you know, program that's specific. And here's what's neat about the Nutrimost program. It's it's 40 days. The main part of the program is 40 yep. days. It's not six months. It's not no. a year. Most people, to lose the amount of weight that you can lose in the 40 days takes them a year. Oh, exactly. And can you imagine? Well, that's what I always tell my patients. Can you imagine being 20, 30, or 40 pounds lighter? In just 40 days. It's and, and it's real. In 40, in 40 mm -hmm. days, I lost 34 pounds. Right. I have a friend of mine who's going through the program right now. He's at day 35 or something like that. I know he's lost 31 pounds. Yep. Uh, it, it's a real program that has really, really fast results. And if you eat the food properly like they have in the program, you will not be hungry. No, nope. You won't be unsatisfied for great food either. And you'll be getting really good, high-quality food and so on. So now we got a couple minutes left. We want to make sure that we give thanks to all the yes, people that, you know, we do. Uh, we do. We want to offer thanks. You know, we, we, uh, we, de we dedicate our time to make sure that we're giving you the best information we can to shape and transform your health. And we just want to be thankful that you're uh, tuning in and you're listening and you're and watching and you're digging into the blogs and, and hopefully you're applying some of this to, to really start transforming where you're at in your health and getting the mindset of, you know, I'm, I'm going to do something, 2017 is coming. Uh, and, and we're just thankful for the opportunity to share with you. Thank you for Hector and his crew to be able to record and uh, share these messages with you so that you can get the best strategy going forth so that your health is uh, Unremarkable in 2017. I would tell you, I want to give thanks to my family and all my friends. Uh, I would say that take the time to learn some of these things because, again, it can make a big difference in your life, and then you'll be given thanks. And then getting on board and singing praise and saying, hey, you need to go check out Dr. John at Vibrant Life Health Center because they're going to really make your life better. That's all we have That's for this week. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.